Hey guys, welcome back once again to Breath of Fire 3, when we last left off. We got ourselves a nifty ID card. Ooh, a King Toad. That's nice. That's nifty indeed. You want to try and steal from the King Toads. They have life shards on them. Eat the king. They also can do ice breath, so damn them. Ow! Oh, hey. Okay, I'm mistaken. Apparently they only have healing herbs. Well, let's charm him still. Let's see if he drops anything. In case you don't know what charm does, it uh, increases the drop rate chance of an item by like, it doubles it. So if an item has a 1 in 64 chance of dropping, it increases to 1 in 32. If you know anything about fractures, fractions 1 in 64 is smaller than 1 in 32. If it's 1 in 32, it increases to 1 in 16. Etc. 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 So it's worth using. It's uh, damn near required to get some of the rare items in the game, such as the Goo King Sword, Ryu's ultimate weapon, ultimato weapon. Okay. Probably need to come to this room right here. And you, you're a terrible nut person. Look at you with your nut helmet on. Terrible, 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 terrible. Error in platform program number three, huh? Okay, then let's do number three again. Huh. I'm missing something. Number three. Aha. On. Thank you. I dropped my mouse. Back up. Before it accidentally clicks something and, you know, I don't know, causes my computer to go off or something. Somebody was asking me, how do I know that Gar has in it fire resistances? The real reason I know is because one of the fairies in the fortune teller uh, place will actually tell you. But mostly the fortune teller's place is useless. Uh, Nina actually has in it wind resistances. Right with guide. All right. 
So that's uh, basically how this works. Just give you a quick little tutorial. Now, what you want to aim for here is you want to aim for the middle. You want to aim for the middle of these squares. Mostly it's easy peasy. Easy peasy. Now, you only need to grab three, but if you grab all four, you can get a treasure. Let's see. I think that's pretty much on it. That's the hardest box to grab. Definitely the hardest box to grab. The second hardest one would be that one on the far back corner. I screwed that up. So, yeah, I'm kind of sad. I beat uh, all the Phoenix Wright games. Ran out of Phoenix Wright games. It took me a long time to beat them all, though, because I've been playing them. Uh, I've been playing them only in the bathroom. So, <laughs> it took me about three months to beat that last one. Well, the first one I didn't play in the bathroom. I've just, I man, I played that one to death. Then I beat that one, and then I took a break, and I played the second one. And I took a break. And then I actually played uh, Miles Edgeworth. Ace Attorney Inve uh, Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. That looks to be about right. There we go. Which the Miles Edgeworth game is definitely my favorite. Where are you going with that, man? Oh, treasure chest. The wisdom fruit in it. Not bad, not bad. And we get a flash shells, which is more powerful than the sleep shells. But sadly, uh, blind is much less useful than sleep, in my opinion. Of course, it's not like we're, like, you know wanting it to work. Let's see. Well, we do want it to work, but it's not like we're wanting it to, uh, expecting it to go through all the time. Alright. That's the first major part of the black ship down. Yeah, I'm fairly certain Shadow Walk cannot miss, which is really good. So let's go through here first. So there is no point to that door. Why is it there?
more King Toad. Ray actually has... No, he doesn't. Gar does. Gar has the highest critical strike, strike chance. I think Ray has the same as Ryu, actually. In case you're wondering where I'm getting that from, there is a really, really cool FAQ that you might not, you know, have looked at. On, uh game FAQs, it's called the Secrets FAQ, but really it's less secrets and more, it's really a lot of technical information about the game. Haha, ha, you got no one to influence. No one to influence at all. Uh, like, there's a section that tells you uh, all the inside hidden uh, resistances of all the characters like uh, for example Gar has a uh, an increased uh, fire resistance of course I've mentioned that before uh, Nina has an increased wind resistance and Pico actually has an increased death resistance I don't think anybody else has uh, has any other changes to that. Hmm, beds. Let's check this. Nothing. How mean of them. No goodies laying. Well, I did get the sleep shells. That's not too bad. Um. Yeah, let's do this again. Those little frogs are so cute in a weird kind of way. Damn it, Ray, just a little bit more and you could have killed the King Toad. I probably need to heal Ryu, actually. Eh, whatever. Let's see, let's check this one. Hey, an ammonia. Awesome. Ooh, a bag. Hey, money. Cool, I might be able to actually buy something. I get to Sarah's on. Wait, is it Sarah's on? That might be a later. No, Combinon. Excuse me. I always get those two towns mixed up. Well, so much for me hitting him with him. And, uh, for example, another hidden thing is Momo's base hit chance is actually 70%. Boost counter. Let's see, that's something we're going to have to take care of here in a minute. out here we can grab goodies maybe maybe possibly yes no damn you why are you so stingy game oh well they can't be giving out free stuff all the time I guess charge and the, oh by the way the uh Artemis Cap gives an extra 10% to your hit rating. I do believe that Ryu's base hit, hit rate is 95%, and then Gar's is 90 I don't remember everyone else's. This is all stuff off the top of my head. It's very interesting. Um, 
you should go read it. it it's pretty cool. Yep, you need Momo for this. Which is why I brought her. Cool. Alright. This part is incredibly frustrating. Anyway, so I'm going to do it next time on Breath of Fire 3. I'll see you then. As soon as Momo's done talking. Stop talking, Momo. Yep, you gotta time it just right. So next time on Breath of Fire 3, the boost counter. <laughs>